Hey guys, happy Friday. Welcome back to another five weekly favorites. We just realized we didn't do one last week, so sorry about that. Mm -hmm. um, we hate missing them. But we have a few random things to talk about. First up is a fashion item. This is a belt from Zara. Hopefully it's still available. I don't know about you guys, but I find it easiest to shop on their app. Um, their website is so confusing to me. You can't really save things, and there are so many things to like look through that I like that on the app you can save them. Mm -hmm. um, so I found this on the app, and hopefully you could find it in store too, but it's like a velvet belt, and then it has this really pretty like vintage style buckle. It feels really nice. Um, it's like pretty, I would say it's like oh, maybe an inch in thickness, but I think it's really beautiful. It really helps to like dress up any outfit. Um, I wore this when our friend was in town. Um, we went to like a nice for dinner and I just wore like a normal outfit I would normally wear like to work, but I put this belt on it, it kind of elevates it. And I don't know, I love finding pieces like this that look kind of vintage and also really unique. Like I haven't seen anyone else wear this. I mean, I'm sure other people own this belt, but you get what I'm saying. So I wanted to share it because I thought it was a true gem of a find. Okay, next up is the lipstick we're both wearing. And I also believe we both use this in our recent Get Ready mm -hmm. With Me. But it's MAC Yash. Um, and it's like a... Hmm. Like a neutral... Peachy deep nude, I would say. Yeah. It's like, it's like a yellow brownie nude. Yeah, that's why I said peach. Because it has like a little yeah. bit of like red and yellow tones There's no in pink, it. which is the best. No. Um, and we love this. Um, this was an Anna edit recommendation and we watch all her videos. We love her, but we were saying in our get ready that in her videos, this color looks so like pale and very pink. But then when we swatched it at the matte counter, we were like, wow, this is a beautiful shade. Yeah. And one of you said like, oh, you know how she always like blots her lipstick. Mm -hmm. So maybe that's why it looked different, Yeah, which is true, but we actually do blot our lipstick yeah. as well, but mm -hmm. we always wear lip liner usually. But yeah. even so, it just looked totally different totally than in her different. videos. Totally different. But I'm sure it just looks the same on her in person. But yeah. we are really pleased with the recommendation because it's such a good shade. It's Wish so pretty. I would have bought it years ago. I know. Seriously. Mm -hmm. Okay, another lip product I want to talk about is the Kosa Sport Lip Balm in the shade Baseline. This is the clear one. They have a few tinted versions as well. I don't like the packaging. I mean, I like the look of it. I think this is really cute and sleek, and black and white is like our jam. But I don't really like the oval. I feel like it's kind of annoying to like put on your lips. I believe this was a Jay Kissa recommendation. Um, someone had like asked her her favorite lip balm in like, like a Q&A. Oh. Yeah, and she said this one. And I never heard anyone else talk about it but I needed another lip balm I had that one I forget the brand it was like a Korean formula that you can get at like Costco I talked about it on here I totally forget oh the DHT mm -hmm. I think um and I liked that one, but I went through it really quickly, and um, I felt like for the winter time, it just wasn't as nourishing as I needed a lip balm to be. And this one is so good. It keeps my lips really moisturized all day. I wear it under lipstick, and it really helps to like plump up my lips. And it doesn't feel too thick on the lips, and it almost is like a bit waxy, which I enjoy um, because I feel like I you only need a little bit, and it really creates like a barrier on your lips. I love this. I will like continue to purchase. Um, I don't know why more people don't talk about it. I feel like people do use the tinted versions, but no one really talks about like just this mm -hmm. clear bomb formula and it's 10 out of 10. Okay, next up I'll do our favorite like food item of the week. So Starbucks released their almond milk honey flat white and we are obsessed with it's it. It's so good. We basically love all the flat white versions that Starbucks makes. Mm -hmm. The holiday ones were like extremely delicious. Yeah. Um, but when we saw honey we were super excited and it obviously comes with almond milk because that is how the drink is prepared. So it's non-dairy. Yeah. Um, but we prefer it with soy milk. So we sub soy milk for almond milk and it's incredible. We want to get some it's today. It's so good. I know. So good. We haven't been to Trader Joe's which is why we haven't had a Trader Joe's favorite in so long. Well, not so Long. We still go every busy. week, but yeah. like um, we were out of half and half, and so we couldn't put that in our coffee. And then we got those. Also, as a side note, if you I know a few of you guys have an espresso, and we bought the a sleeve of the pods that are meant to be mm -hmm. used with milk, and we don't really know how to use them. If you guys know how to use those, let us know. But anyways, we didn't have half and half, so then our thought process was, oh, let's make these like coffee pods that you use with um, the milk. And then our milk was expired, and we're like. We can't win, so we need to go get your Starbucks mm -hmm. drink. Um, true. And then our last favor of the week is, I believe it's season six, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Season six of Grace and Frankie, the last season. 
I'm so sad the show is ending. If you haven't seen it, it is so good. It's so good. Grace and Frankie are like two of the best characters to ever be on television. I know, I know it's, it's a true. bold statement, Such a good but duo. Yes, and it's this season especially is I feel like Frankie has never been funnier. I but think I also, the whole writing this season was the best. It was so all good. The seasons, it was just so hard to do. They ended on a high note for sure. And I love the ending. Did you? I love the that? ending. Too. I love mm -hmm. the ending. They like brought it back full circle. Mm -hmm. It was so cute. Um, and I love this that this season like we really see like. Um, Grace and Frankie, like, they call each other their soulmates, and, like, even though Grace is married, like, just mm -hmm. how close she is with Frankie, um, I just feel like their bond is so special, and, like, something I think we've all enjoyed seeing, like, over the past six seasons. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, the premise, we've spoken about the show before. Okay, so as I was saying, the show, um, I know we've spoken about it before, but it's basically about two, I don't want to call them elderly. Um... Well, they're Older? in their 80s. Okay. <laughs> I no, guess they are pretty elderly. Mm -hmm. um, but two women and their husbands end up marrying each other. So these women are forced to live together in like their shared beach house. Mm -hmm. And they're nothing alike, but they quickly become fast friends. They start a few businesses together. And so it's really just about their relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so funny. It's so good. Highly recommend. Feel good show. You'll love it. Yes. Watch it this weekend because this is going up on Friday. Mm -hmm. So watch it this weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching our video and we'll see you next week.